Good morning everybody, Eric UK here for another RPG A Day 2020. Today is, I'm always losing track of these days, give me one moment. Uh, today I think is day 18, could be wrong, but the word for today is meat. So, I'm going to touch on something that I did a video about uh, many, many, many years ago about how you can meet uh, new players or meet fellow players. Um, an obvious one is uh, conventions. Um, when they're up and running, obviously 2020 has kind of scuppered anything like that. Um, but you can meet fellow gamers at some of these conventions, whether you're talking about big ones like Gen Con or maybe a smaller local one. Um, in fact, there's a little side thing here. Uh, this coming weekend, it's not roleplay related, but it's uh, relevant to the topic. Um, we have a gaming gaming in the park sort of thing. It's more for war gaming, um, but it's been set up by uh, a guy here who is trying to open a game store. Um, he's got permission from our local authorities, and basically down by our uh, riverside park in town uh we're gonna have like a covered uh tent sort of thing um open element sort of thing um with tables and terrain and stuff and he's put it out so hopefully we're gonna get some uh, war gamers and like to come down people that we know and people that maybe we don't know a chance to meet new people um so things like that are really good um but what i wanted to talk about for um, well, uh, English um, that came out in a video many years ago was places or how to meet uh, new gamers or join a new group or something like that um, and it all came about my current gaming buddies the, the very core of um, this group came about because in 1990 uh I was walking through town, I stopped outside a, a newsagent's and there in the window you've got these little cards where people sort of like advertise want a cleaner, car for sale, uh, you know, room to rent. There was somebody asking for um, a role play group, a D&D group and I replied to that and 30 years later um, you know we've got a very different uh, group from then. Um, it's split off about three times, um, but that started off a, a huge, um, 30 years worth of new gaming friends, um, two of whom got married, <laughs> um, you know, and it's expanded, uh, my gamer circles. Um, some of them moved away, but we stay in contact on Facebook. Um, many of them are still local. Some sort of retired from the hobby. Um, but that's some way of, sort of like an introduction of how you can meet people. Keep an eye out for things like that. Um, Facebook is a great one. I mean, I know it gets a lot of grief here and there. But um, if you've got like a, a local group for your town or your city... Um, have a look on there, even comment on there and see whether you get any responses. Um, I don't know if it's still going, but at least in, um, I think it was New York some years back, there was a thing called meetup uh, meetup.com. Um, and the people run that they basically had um, a room in a office building, I believe it was, that they they got for nothing because um, of some law that said if you um, open up uh, your atriums and things like that to, to the public, they got tax um, reductions or something like that. And this particular group did that and they got quite a sizable roleplay community out of it. So there's plenty of ways you can look to meet your fellow gamers. They're not all hidden away. They're looking to meet people as well. Um, you know, and even just word of mouth, um, sometimes you can find out that 
Bob from accounting is also a D&D &D player, but he's he's never thought anybody else in the office would be interested, so he doesn't say anything. So, you know, it's worth looking around and just seeing what you can see um, and see whether you can meet, you know, a new gaming group or add people to your gaming group or at least be, have somebody to talk to um, locally. Anyway, um, rather than waffle on yet again, that's my topic for today. I look forward to seeing yours. Take care and good gaming.